the dream state is special state, but in the waking state also you have got a dream. The moment you close your eyes, it's a dream. Please understand. The moment you close your eyes, it's a dream. Because what thoughts are coming, you don't know. Only thing is, in the dream dream, you have absolutely no control. In the waking dream, you have some control. <laughs> in the waking dream, when you are getting up, and suppose the moment you close your eyes, you are with your thought. It's very subjective. What they call in Sanskrit, pratibhasika satta, subjective. Only you can see, nobody else can see. There are three levels of reality. Paramarthika, absolute reality. Pratibhasika, subjective reality. Vyavaharika, empirical reality. When you see these three things, if you look at the creation, Vyavaharika Satta, Vyavahara, where everybody is doing the transaction with the world, and same for all of us. If it is hot, it is hot for all for us. If it is cold, it is cold for all of us. Morning, morning for all of us. Are you getting that? That is the Vyavaharika Satta. In Vyavaharika Satta, there is similarity. There is each one, all of us see the same world, the empirical reality. Achha. Whereas the Pratibhasika Satta is subjective reality. Subjective reality is your reaction to the perception. Perceptions are Vyavahara, empirical. But your reaction to perception is very subjective. Somebody likes the heat, somebody doesn't like. Somebody likes the cold, somebody doesn't like. Somebody likes the fruit, somebody doesn't like a fruit. Okay, your reactions, like, dislike, you know, those are all subjective reality. And only you can know, others cannot know. If you look at this rose plant, so many flowers are there, all of us can see. But what you are thinking, only you can see, nobody else can see. Therefore, your dream comes under that category. Your dream only you can see, nobody else can see. That is a Pratibhasika Satta. It is a very subjective reality. Subjective reality is the one, what do you call as the individual's confusion, individual's depression, individual's dejection, individual's misery in the outside world is very subjective. For no reason, some people are sitting down there and miserable. There is absolutely no reason why you should be miserable. Because weather is nice, place is nice, food is nice, everything is nice, but the person feels depressed. Somehow I feel dejected. That is Pratibhasika, subjective, very subjective reactions. Only you know, nobody else can see it. Dream is a total Pratibhasika, subjective reality, a dream, a subjective reality. So people who are projecting too much, they live in their own world. It is like a Pratibhasika Satta, subjective reality. The people who live in their own world, they don't, they, they don't uh, share the other people's world. They have their own little world. They, from their own memory, they create a little world and that is how they continue to live. You can't say, you can't tell anything to them. In a very, very subjective reality. They lose touch with the empirical reality. Like some people lose their memories or they have very, what they call uh, selective memory. They are already 60 year old, somehow they forget everything, only 15 year old memories stay there. So their childhood memories are very fresh, but suddenly it happens, they have last 10 years, they have completely lost sight of it. So whatever you talk to them, you cannot relate to them, because they don't recognize. It happens to people. Okay? So those are very, very subjective reality called Pratibhasya Satta. Your dream also is subjective. And the moment you close your eyes, it's a subjective thing. Because what you think, only you know. And over that, others have no control. You only can know for it. When you come under the spell of it, it's like a dream. If you don't come under the spell of it, you are a different person. You are waking, you are deliberate. Acha. The last one is Paramarthika Sata. Paramarthika Sata is absolute reality, which is same for all of us, which is never changes. In Vyavaharika Sata, Vyavahara, the creation, the world around is continuously changing. Now it is summer, now it is winter, now it is cold, now it is uh, hot. And depending on the season, you do your bevar. 
Even in summer time you have maybe just one piece of cloth. In winter time you are fully loaded. In, what is that in, uh, what they call, uh, your, in your rainy season time you have got uh, full, uh, maybe umbrella and all, all things you have got, no problem, everything. So, all different type of things are there, understand. Vebhārya satta goes on changing. So, according to the changing situation, your Vebhār also changes. Whereas in case of Paramarthika Satta, the absolute reality, it is same all through for all of us. Consciousness here, there, everywhere. Now, then, all times. Childhood, youth, old age. Waking, dream, deep sleep. Gross body, subtle body, causal body. It just doesn't matter. Paramarthika, absolute reality, always the same. That is why... Be in touch with the absolute reality that is yourself, then enjoy the subjective reality as well as the empirical reality. Bhavahara, your, your Bhavahara, your dealing with the world is according to the situation that demands. When it's summer, I dress, put in a particular dress. In winter, I do a particular dress. When the old age, I eat a particular food. When young age, I have a particular food. When I'm healthy, I eat something. When I'm sick, I'm something. Bevahar goes on changing. That is why no Bevahar is absolute. No Bevahar is, you know, you cannot just impose your Bevahar, your behavior or your uh, pattern of life on anybody. 